Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're looking at the movies that feature the creepy and kooky household, The, the Addams Family. Family. Oh, oh sorry. No, snap, <laughs> yeah. From the comic strip origins to television series and theatrical films, this family truly never dies. The movies we're covering are the first Adams Family movie and its sequel, Adams Family Values. They're like the first original Supernatural Brothers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, yeah, so this one definitely had quite a bit of television stuff when I was looking through it mm-hmm. uh, not too long ago. They had a couple movies. They had a bunch of TV series. Mm-hmm. And then now, you know, this month they're having an animated Reboot. movie in which they look exactly like the comic strips and it looks pretty cool so i can't wait to see it yeah and when i was a kid they were running the reruns <coughs> excuse me of the black and white show that appeared i think it was the 60s that it was originally on and our nana and older family members did watch this show mm-hmm. so i actually have gotten to see the original series as mm-hmm. a rerun but i've never seen the entire series because you know when they show reruns they show an episode here and there and it's never sequential. So. Right. But I thought the original series was pretty funny. And the characters were very iconic. You had um, Carolyn Jones playing Morticia. You had um, Gomez was played by um, Sean Astin's father, um, John Astin. Yeah. Yes. There we go. And then you had, um, of course, Pugsley and Wednesday and Uncle Fester and Grandmama and Thing mm-hmm. and Lurch and... Oh, and I'm going to get Cousin It and later. Cousin it, yes. So when they had, in the 80s, I remember telling you I saw another Halloween movie that they put on, I think it was like 1989. Mm-hmm. I did not know that this movie actually had taken place in 1970s. And I didn't know that until you looked it up, and I was like, oh my gosh, so you mean I was watching a movie that was that old, thinking it was a new movie? Oh, Mm -hmm. that's bad. But it was funny, (laughs) and you know, they had their little Halloween get-together, and they had their challenges, and at the end, they were saying, have a happy, spooky Halloween. Right. So I think that movie led them up to the two that we're discussing today, the two theatrical movies. Right. And then the first one was just The Addams Family. It came out in uh, 1991. Mm Mm-hmm. And I actually, I think we saw both of these movies a uh, second time on Netflix when they had the rights to uh, stream them. They're this and Adam's Family Values. Yeah, the first, that's the only way you saw them, I think. Yeah. Um, because in 91, I didn't see them at the theater. I didn't actually see this till later. I think, I'm pretty sure we rented it. And then, as you said, when they got onto Netflix, then you were, I kept saying, you should see the Adam's Family. You should see it. You'll like it. It's fun. And then we got to see those movies. Mm-hmm. But the theatrical release, um, it took $30 million to make, and it took in over $191 million at the box office. Yeah. And in both of these versions, you had some really huge uh, box office stars who started. And then you had Angelica Houston, who's John Houston's daughter, who was a great play- playwright, I'm sorry, and director in Hollywood. And you have our old Julia who is passed now, unfortunately, but he was a really huge actor Mm -hmm. and some fantastic dramas uh, during that time. Mm -hmm. And, And of course, uh, Christopher Lowe. Yeah, you know, as as, as, uh, the great Scott. (laughs) Yeah, and then you also had Christina Ritchie, who played Wednesday, Mm -hmm. and she went on from there to become pretty big, and she starred in a whole lot of indie films. Mm -hmm. But this was a film that had a lot of stars in it as the major characters and they were funny they did a really good job at taking over the roles Mm -hmm. that these other stars decades ago had made iconic right they did a fantastic job and they were funny and creepy and kooky and by the end of the movie you adored them and you wanted more of the adams family right so tell me what were your first impressions when you got to see this first movie okay well, I wasn't sure at first because before Anne's Family, <coughs> we had watched the, the Monsters, you know, with the DVDs mm-hmm. and stuff in the movies, and I you know if it was supposed to be in competition with the Anne's Family or not because of the popularity at the time for it being <laughs> two, different, uh, two different writers, two right. different studios. Mm-hmm. 
uh, so I wasn't sure about Adam's family. And this one has a more, I guess, a gothic mm -hmm. tone about them. Well, Monsters was more making fun of, like I said, the average American family right. sitcom. And mm -hmm. this one was a more gothic family. Right. And all the darkness and all that stuff. There, Some of them could be joyful and some of them would just be a uh, gothy, <laughs> gothic. And they were still one family and they would still have all this crazy stuff happen to them mm -hmm. and somehow these people weren't as terrified until they got in the house right they wouldn't be off put by them just like okay they're just kind of off right and then they get in the house and they see the gate the gates alive they got the <laughs> they got uh the, the electric chair they got giant frankenstein butler so it's like <laughs> like now you freak out especially when they got bill collectors or something well see the thing too with them is they were Wealthy, they, unlike the monsters who were this average American family, they were very wealthy. Mm -hmm. And Gomez had all these properties and businesses and factories, and they took trips to France and all over the uh -huh. world. So it was different in the sense that people probably saw them more than they saw the monsters because they were wealthy and they went everywhere. And like you said, they weren't really off put at first. Gomez looked kind of extreme, but he had on his business suit and everything. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, his dark hair and stuff, he just looked austere. Mm -hmm. And then Morticia, yeah, with the long hair and the black dress and the sexiness and all of that, which they didn't really do for Lily. Mm -hmm. The kids, I think were the ones who stuck out the most, Pugsley and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The way they were dressed, they stuck out more right. than, me than the parents did. And when they, were at the when they would show them at the schools and they went to these uh, kids' schools, you would see how they were acting. They just think, oh, they're, they're weird. Right. It wouldn't be <laughs> off-putting until they started doing stuff and it was terrifying. It's like, oh, they're, they're, they're kind of weird, aren't they? What's with the weird kids? <laughs> and then you see you have uh, Uncle Fester, who was, I guess, almost like the grandpa of the... Of the family, but they were right. only not a like they invent everything. I think the grandma, I think, was the grandma one that Ma. did the grandma <laughs> made all the brew and the potions mm -hmm. and stuff in place of a lab. And then the right. professor would just be doing weird stuff all the mm -hmm. time. And there was always a gag of he could light a light bulb just by putting his mouth yes. in and it lights up. He snaps and it lights <laughs> up in his mouth. So, and in, in this one, it says that he was. Uh, I think they said they had to deal with a con artist, mm -hmm. and uh, and the son of the con artist looked like Fester. Right. And they dressed him up to look like Uncle oh, Fester, thinking that's the, his long-lost brother, right. because he's been stuck in the Bermuda Triangle for 25 years, so in here, you would, uh, he thinks that he's mad at him over some argument they had before he left, mm -hmm. and they pretend that it's him. And and he has and, and then you find out what really happened, um, I guess near the end of the movie, mm -hmm. where he had amnesia and stuff. Right. So he's going through all this stuff and then you would think this would terrify him like when they had all like say the family reunion and all this weird stuff they would do <laughs> and he was enjoying all of it instead of being terrified. And he's like, I don't know how I know all this, but this is so much fun <laughs> <laughs> And then the the I guess the mom, yeah, the mom who was helping him do the con, she was getting angry and angry. Right. She was upset that he was enjoying himself, having yeah, time. not trying to you get their money. Trust yeah, these people, you can't like these people. Have you forgotten what the purpose is? Right. And it was oh yeah, they had Christina Ricky. I forgot she was in here. That's what you were saying That's about saying. Uh, yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, and as it went on, it started just getting crazier. Up to a point where they were pretty much kicked out of their own house, and they were stuck living in the motel. Like, really, did we go to this state now? Mm -hmm. And you were kind of thinking okay is the story gonna go downhill from here because you got all these people now out of their element they're on in a motel the only thing you got out and somehow we live in a world where the hand that was i guess the <laughs> butler the just a hand could get a job it, it. yeah okay yeah it, yeah it, no. uh, Oh, cousin, it was on with the hair thing, 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 thing. thing. Yeah, the thing, the thing, the, the thing got a job as a, a delivering mail. Like, this is, yeah, this is this is normal. Yeah, I'm gonna hire a hand. And you mentioned the job listings went, and it was the one that helped uh, help them out a lot. And and when they, even when they got to that element, they were stuck like this. It was still funny because they were still the Adams family. They weren't trying to blend in with humans or anything. They were still their kooky selves. Right. They just wanted to get their house back. So it was fun. It was fun, and you got to see them interacting <clears throat> with people who were normal people, um, trying to take away from them what was rightly their own that they had earned and so forth. Mm -hmm. But it was fun, and I thought that would be the end of it. And then, as you mentioned, they made a second movie. Yes, 
And in this second movie... It was the Adams Family Values. And they had Joan Cusack, who was the brother of John Cusack. Mm -hmm. And she played in here. So they had another star in addition to the cast that appeared in the first movie. Right. Right. And this one, they sort of had two things... I think it's a two things going on at the same time. One plot, which I guess was the main one, was... Uh, uh, what's what's the name again? Which Adam Sandler. No, no, not the movie. The there was a woman in there that married Uncle Fester. It, 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 John Cusack. John Cusack. Yeah, thank you. Uh, they did kind of a similar story to what the monsters have with yes. the Black Widow. <laughs> Only here you knew for sure that she was gonna do something. And here's the thing that was hilarious: that like, she's this beautiful woman, <laughs> and she's gonna marry marry him, and she was gonna take him out so that you can get all the money and the house and everything. You really want this? <laughs> But the funny thing is, no matter how many times she took him out, he was still there. And half the time, he, like, he thought it was a fun or a joke. He said, oh, God. like she stuck dynamite or something in his food or in room and everything blew up. And then she looked and saw he was still there. He said, oh, that was fun. But if you want to do it right, you might want to add this. It'll really give an extra juice. And she was looking at him like, well, how are you still alive? And she's telling him, oh, if you only want to try to kill me, you might want to do this. <laughs> and eventually, she couldn't take it. And he just said, okay, I'm going to put you on the electric chair so you be gone for sure. Ain't nothing hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He loved everything. Yeah, he thought, like, oh, you play hard to get, aren't you? <laughs> I did forget to mention that Grandma Ma in this version was played by Carol Kane. Uh-huh. And fun fact, like Bennett says, Carol Kane and Christopher Lloyd played in a show that came on in the 70s called Taxi. Mm -hmm. So they had worked together before. Right. And uh, Carol Kane, if you're not familiar with her from that, which probably most of you aren't, um, she appeared as Oswald Cobblepot's mom in the, the Gotham, Gotham series. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Right. Yeah. Now, the second plot or subplot they had where the kids went to a summer camp. Yes. And that summer camp wasn't going to be the same after they were there because they were doing some messed up <laughs> stuff and made everything horrid. <laughs> and like, take me off. <laughs> and like, yes, that was actually fun. <laughs> but yeah, and we do know that this one didn't do as well as the. First one, it barely made back what it took, to make it. it took to make yeah, it. Yeah, I only got back a little extra that it took to, to make it. I think the campiness had worn off for the people who saw the first movie and, you know, those who didn't grow up seeing them in the 60s like our grandparents and great-grandparents did or like I did seeing reruns as a kid who really weren't familiar with the Adams Family. Probably the second movie was like, okay, I saw the first one, it was funny, and I'm not going to go see the second one. Right. <laughs> but yeah. I liked it. It was a stretch, of course, but it was still fun, and it was still fun and enjoyable. And still kind of kooky. And, and kooky and you, creepy. And, and you and got that. that. They still had a little bit of the modern thing in there. It was just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't completely... Adam's family, but it was still enjoyable. They even had the third plot where they're gonna have a third kid, mm -hmm. and the he, and the dad was worried that something was wrong with something was wrong with the son because he didn't come out looking like gothic or weird, dreary looking like them. He was really happy yeah. and lively, and they're like, "What's wrong with him?" And it's like he doesn't have a happy life. He's that's why he's like this. And then and by he the had end, his hair smoothed down like his dad's. That was hilarious. Right, and by the end of the movie, when he does something really crazy or M's family like then he looks are looking like them. Right. It's like that's what he need to do, something crazy. Right. <laughs> so I thought it was fun and I don't remember if this was the movie or the first movie that had M C Hammer do the Adams family thing. Yeah, I, I don't know, because I remember the first movie has sort of a rock theme to it, or a, re, a remix of the original theme. I don't know if this the second one had it or not. I think it was Michael Jackson, I think it was supposed to feature a song yeah, for but, there, but they no, didn't do it. I think it was the first I movie. I think it was the first movie that had the theme song done by MC Hammer. Yeah. Which was something that I understand was going on really big during that time. You had a lot of... Um, top Billboard stars that were doing things for movies. Right. And this one took place, what, two years after? Yeah, because so. this was out in 93. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of crazy music and stuff there. They say, dude. Yeah, <laughs> 90s, yeah. Right. So, but, but all in all, the Adams Family was a great concept by, I think Charles Adams was the one who actually... Right, so hence the name. Yeah. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing the animated revival reboot. Whatever. Yeah, well, I don't know what they're gonna what they're calling it this time. I'm gonna guess reboot since it's going to back to the comic origins because now you don't have to worry about them looking. They're not a little cookie enough because mm-hmm. they'll look exactly like the comic strips. Right. So you don't have to worry Which about I, that. Of course, I've never read the comic strips, but I I have read that it was very popular. Right. So I can't wait to see it. If you are a fan of the Adams family. Let us know in the comments below if you have seen any version, whether it's the reruns of the original or if you were um, watching the original as it aired, please tell us in the comments um, what your impressions were, if you loved it, let us know what channel it came on, when it aired, and was it something you look forward to seeing every week. Right. And if you know them by the movies, let us know which is your favorite and are you looking forward to seeing the new reboot a uh, revival re- thing, revival, re- yeah, re-re of, right. yeah, remake family. of a remake, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment, and I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. And the board is sitting, flashing lights, trying to walk around. Man, who the hell are you? What you want to do? My well, man, it's on you. Man, it's on you. Get her in my dreams. She was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams. Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you later on in the phone.